I've been painting professionally for 20 years and I've had a few changes in styles and um, mediums within that, that time frame. And I started out with watercolor, went to acrylic and collage, but the collage was becoming too much of a busy feel for me and I needed to zen out my life a bit and accomplish that, I thought, by zenning out my work a little bit. Color in my work is somewhat intuitively divided into seasonal aspects because I enjoy all four of the seasons that we have here in the Midwest and I tend to work in different seasonal feelings. So oftentimes I'll have some brighter spring colors going. Um, sometimes they get into the more autumn and then winter tends to bring out a lot of white and grays and blues in my work. I also do a lot of traveling and I've noticed big influences subconsciously of my work when I travel and then come back to the studio. I know you can study color and colors mix differently and appear differently when they're laid next to each other and there's a big science about all of that. But sometimes if you just experiment and play intuitively, I think you get some really great combinations. And sometimes you don't, but then you keep adding more layers till you get that result. And most of these paintings have about 40 layers in them so that I can unearth and scrape back to the layers um, that were previous laid. So my first initial maybe five, 10 layers don't, aren't that important. So I have to get those layers down, they have to dry in between and I can scratch back into some of them. But after I get to that point, that's when it starts to, to develop and, and kind of start to talk to me about what it might be or what colors may evolve into the piece. But I think it's important to show up in the studio every day. Not every day is going to be a good day in the studio. Some days you'll, I'll come down here and nothing is working out, but at least I showed up and tried. And if it's not working the way it is, sometimes I'll just revert back to my journals or I'll sit and, and read something about art so that it's not, I'm not feeling like it's wasted space, but it's still being productive in a different sense.